in mathematics, computer science and operations research, mathematical optimization or mathematical programming, alternatively spelled optimization, is the selection of a best element with regard to some criterion from some set of available alternatives. In the simplest case, an optimization problem consists of maximizing or minimizing a real function by systematically choosing input values from within an allowed set and computing the value of the function. The generalization of optimization theory and techniques to other formulations constitutes a large area of applied mathematics. More generally, optimization includes finding best available values of some objective function given a defined domain or input, including a variety of different types of objective functions and different types of domains. Topic: Optimization problems. An optimization problem can be represented in the following way: Given a function f a r, display style f colon a to math b r, from some set a, display style a to the real numbers sort an element x 0 element of a display style math bf x underscore 0 in a such that f x 0 f x Display style f left math bf x underscore zero right leq f left math bf x right for all x element of a display style math bf x in a minimization or such that f x zero f X display style f left math bf x underscore zero right g e q f left math bf x right for all x element of a display style math bf x in a maximization. Such a formulation is called an optimization problem or a mathematical programming problem a term not directly related to computer programming, but still in use for example in linear programming, see history below. Many real-world and theoretical problems may be modeled in this general framework. Problems formulated using this technique in the fields of physics and computer vision may refer to the technique as energy minimization. Speaking of the value of the function f, display style f, as representing the energy of the system being modeled. Typically, a display style a is some subset of the Euclidean space. R n display style math b r caret n often specified by a set of constraints, equalities, or inequalities that the members of a display style a have to satisfy. The domain a display style a of f display style f is called the search space or the choice set while the elements of a display style a are called candidate solutions or feasible solutions the function f display style f is called variously an objective function a loss function or cost function minimization a utility function or fitness function maximization or in certain fields an energy function or energy functional 
a feasible solution that minimizes or maximizes, if that is the goal, the objective function is called an optimal solution. In mathematics, conventional optimization problems are usually stated in terms of minimization. A local minimum x display style math bf x caret ast is defined as an element for which there exists some delta greater than 0 display style delta greater than 0 such that for all x element of a display style math bf x in a where x minus x delta display style left vert math bf x math bf x caret ast right vert leq delta the expression f x f x Display style f left math bf x caret ast right leq f left math bf x right holds that is to say on some region around x display style math bf x caret ast all of the function values are greater than or equal to the value at that element local maxima are defined similarly. While a local minimum is at least as good as any nearby elements, a global minimum is at least as good as every feasible element. Generally, unless the objective function is convex in a minimization problem, there may be several local minima. In a convex problem, if there is a local minimum that is interior not on the edge of the set of feasible elements, it is also the global minimum, but a non-convex problem may have more than one local minimum not all of which need be global minima. A large number of algorithms proposed for solving non-convex problems, including the majority of commercially available solvers, are not capable of making a distinction between locally optimal solutions and globally optimal solutions, and will treat the former as actual solutions to the original problem. Global optimization is the branch of applied mathematics and numerical analysis that is concerned with the development of deterministic algorithms that are capable of guaranteeing convergence in finite time to the actual optimal solution of a non-convex problem. Notation Optimization problems are often expressed with special notation. Here are some examples. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Minimum and maximum value of a function. Consider the following notation: min x element of r x Two plus one display style min underscore x in math b r x caret two plus one. This denotes the minimum value of the objective function x two plus one display style x caret two plus one. When choosing x from the set of real numbers r, display style math b r, the minimum value in this case is one, display style one, occurring at x equals zero, display style x equals zero. Similarly, the notation Max x element of R two x display style max underscore x in math b R two x 
asks for the maximum value of the objective function 2x, where x may be any real number. In this case, there is no such maximum as the objective function is unbounded, so the answer is infinity or undefined. Topic: <laughs> Optimal input arguments. Consider the following notation: a r g M I N X element of minus infinity minus one X two plus one Display style underset x in inf t minus one operator name a r g min x caret two plus one or equivalently a r g m i n x x two plus one subject to x element of minus infinity minus 1 display style underset x operator name arg min x caret 2 plus 1 text subject to x in inf t minus 1 this represents the value or values of the argument x display style x in the interval minus infinity minus 1 display style inf t minus 1 that minimizes or minimize the objective function x 2 plus 1 Display style x caret two plus one. The actual minimum value of that function is not what the problem asks for. In this case, the answer is x equals minus one. Display style x equals minus one. Since x equals zero. Display style x equals zero is infeasible, i.e., does not belong to the feasible set. Similarly, a r g m a x x element of minus five five y element of r x cos y display style underset x in minus 5 5 y in math b r operator name arg max x cos y or equivalently a r g m a x x y x cos y subject to x element of minus 5 5 y element of r Display style underset x y operator name a r g max x cos y text subject to x in minus five five y in math b r represents the x y display style x y pair or pairs that maximizes or maximize t he value of the objective function x cos y 
display style x cos y with the added constraint that x display style x lie in the interval minus 5 5 display style minus 5 5 again the actual maximum value of the expression does not matter in this case, the solutions are the pairs of the form five two k pi display style five two k pi and minus five two k plus one pi Display style minus five two k plus one pi, where k display style k ranges over all integers. Operators a r g m i n display style operator name a r g min and a r g m a x display style operator name a r g max are sometimes also written as argmin display style operator name argmin and r g max Display style operator name argmax and stand for argument of the minimum and argument of the maximum. Topic History Fermat and Lagrange found calculus based formulae for identifying optima, while Newton and Gauss proposed iterative methods for moving towards an optimum. The term, linear programming, for certain optimization cases was due to George B. Danzig, although much of the theory had been introduced by Leonid Kantorovich in 1939. Programming in this context does not refer to computer programming, but from the use of program by the United States military to refer to proposed training and logistics schedules, which were the problems Danzig studied at that time. Danzig published the Simplex algorithm in 1947, and John John von Neumann developed the theory of duality in the same year. Other notable researchers in mathematical optimization include the following. <laughs> Major subfields Convex programming studies the case when the objective function is convex minimization or concave maximization and the constraint set is convex. This can be viewed as a particular case of nonlinear programming or as generalization of linear or convex quadratic programming. Linear programming LP, a type of convex programming, studies the case in which the objective function f is linear and the constraints are specified using only linear equalities and inequalities. Such a constraint set is called a polyhedron or a polytope if it is bounded. Second order cone programming SOCP is a convex program, and includes certain types of quadratic programs. Semidefinite programming SDP is a subfield of convex optimization where the underlying variables are semidefinite matrices. It is a generalization of linear and convex quadratic programming. Conic programming is a general form of convex programming. LP, SOCP and SDP can all be viewed as conic programs with the appropriate type of cone. Geometric programming is a technique whereby objective and inequality constraints expressed as posonomials and equality constraints as monomials can be transformed into a convex program. Integer programming studies linear programs in which some or all variables are constrained to take on integer values. 
this is not convex, and in general much more difficult than regular linear programming. Quadratic programming allows the objective function to have quadratic terms, while the feasible set must be specified with linear equalities and inequalities. For specific forms of the quadratic term, this is a type of convex programming. Fractional programming studies optimization of ratios of two nonlinear functions. The special class of concave fractional programs can be transformed to a convex optimization problem. Nonlinear programming studies the general case in which the objective function or the constraints or both contain nonlinear parts. This may or may not be a convex program. In general, whether the program is convex affects the difficulty of solving it. Stochastic programming studies the case in which some of the constraints or parameters depend on random variables. Robust programming is, like stochastic programming, an attempt to capture uncertainty in the data underlying the optimization problem. Robust optimization targets to find solutions that are valid under all possible realizations of the uncertainties. Combinatorial optimization is concerned with problems where the set of feasible solutions is discrete or can be reduced to a discrete one. Stochastic optimization is used with random noisy function measurements or random inputs in the search process. Infinite dimensional optimization studies the case when the set of feasible solutions is a subset of an infinite dimensional space, such as a space of functions. Heuristics and metaheuristics make few or no assumptions about the problem being optimized. Usually, heuristics do not guarantee that any optimal solution need be found. On the other hand, heuristics are used to find approximate solutions for many complicated optimization problems. Constraint satisfaction studies the case in which the objective function f is constant this is used in artificial intelligence, particularly in automated reasoning. Constraint programming is a programming paradigm wherein relations between variables are stated in the form of constraints. Disjunctive programming is used where at least one constraint must be satisfied but not all. It is of particular use in scheduling. Space mapping is a concept for modeling and optimization of an engineering system to high fidelity fine model accuracy exploiting a suitable physically meaningful coarse or surrogate model in a number of subfields the techniques are designed primarily for optimization in dynamic contexts that is decision making over time Calculus of variations seeks to optimize an action integral over some space to an extremum by varying a function of the coordinates. Optimal control theory is a generalization of the calculus of variations which introduces control policies. Dynamic programming studies the case in which the optimization strategy is based on splitting the problem into smaller subproblems. The equation that describes the relationship between these subproblems is called the Bellman equation. Mathematical programming with equilibrium constraints is where the constraints include variational inequalities or complementarities. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Multi-objective optimization. Adding more than one objective to an optimization problem adds complexity. For example, to optimize a structural design, one would desire a design that is both light and rigid. When two objectives conflict, a trade-off must be created. There may be one lightest design, one stiffest design, and an infinite number of designs that are some compromise of weight and rigidity. The set of trade-off designs that cannot be improved upon according to one criterion without hurting another criterion is known as the Pareto set. The curve created plotting weight against stiffness of the best designs is known as the Pareto frontier. 
a design is judged to be Pareto optimal, equivalently Pareto efficient, or in the Pareto set if it is not dominated by any other design, if it is worse than another design in some respects and no better in any respect, then it is dominated and is not Pareto optimal. The choice among Pareto optimal solutions to determine the favorite solution is delegated to the decision maker. In other words, defining the problem as multi objective optimization signals that some information is missing. Desirable objectives are given, but combinations of them are not rated relative to each other. In some cases, the missing information can be derived by interactive sessions with the decision maker. Multi objective optimization problems have been generalized further into vector optimization problems where the partial ordering is no longer given by the Pareto ordering. <laughs> Multi modal optimization Optimization problems are often multimodal, that is, they possess multiple good solutions. They could all be globally good, same cost function value, or there could be a mix of globally good and locally good solutions. Obtaining all or at least some of the multiple solutions is the goal of a multimodal optimizer. Classical optimization techniques due to their iterative approach do not perform satisfactorily when they are used to obtain multiple solutions, since it is not guaranteed that different solutions will be obtained even with different starting points in multiple runs of the algorithm. Evolutionary algorithms, however, are a very popular approach to obtain multiple solutions in a multi-modal optimization task. Topic. Classification of critical points and extrema Topic. Feasibility problem The satisfiability problem, also called the feasibility problem, is just the problem of finding any feasible solution at all without regard to objective value. This can be regarded as the special case of mathematical optimization where the objective value is the same for every solution, and thus any solution is optimal. Many optimization algorithms need to start from a feasible point. One way to obtain such a point is to relax the feasibility conditions using a slack variable. With enough slack, any starting point is feasible. Then, minimize that slack variable until slack is null or negative. Existence The extreme value theorem of Carl Weierstrass states that a continuous real-valued function on a compact set attains its maximum and minimum value. More generally, a lower semi-continuous function on a compact set attains its minimum, an upper semi-continuous function on a compact set attains its maximum. <laughs> Necessary conditions for optimality One of Fermat's theorems states that optima of unconstrained problems are found at stationary points, where the first derivative or the gradient of the objective function is zero see first derivative test. More generally, they may be found at critical points, where the first derivative or gradient of the objective function is zero or is undefined, or on the boundary of the choice set. An equation or set of equations stating that the first derivatives equals zero at an interior optimum is called a first order condition or a set of first order conditions. Optima of equality constrained problems can be found by the Lagrange multiplier method. The optima of problems with equality and or inequality constraints can be found using the Karush Kuhn Tucker conditions.
Topic: Sufficient conditions for optimality. While the first derivative test identifies points that might be extrema, this test does not distinguish a point that is a minimum from one that is a maximum or one that is neither. When the objective function is twice differentiable, these cases can be distinguished by checking the second derivative or the matrix of second derivatives called the Hessian matrix in unconstrained problems, or the matrix of second derivatives of the objective function and the constraints called the bordered Hessian in constrained problems. The conditions that distinguish maxima, or minima, from other stationary points are called second-order conditions see second derivative test. If a candidate solution satisfies the first-order conditions, then satisfaction of the second-order conditions as well is sufficient to establish at least local optimality. Sensitivity and continuity of optima The envelope theorem describes how the value of an optimal solution changes when an underlying parameter changes. The process of computing this change is called comparative statics. The maximum theorem of Claude Berger describes the continuity of an optimal solution as a function of underlying parameters. <coughs> Calculus of optimization For unconstrained problems with twice differentiable functions, some critical points can be found by finding the points where the gradient of the objective function is zero that is, the stationary points. More generally, a zero subgradient certifies that a local minimum has been found for minimization problems with convex functions and other locally Lipschitz functions. Further, critical points can be classified using the definiteness of the Hessian matrix. If the Hessian is positive definite at a critical point, then the point is a local minimum. If the Hessian matrix is negative definite, then the point is a local maximum. Finally, if indefinite, then the point is some kind of saddle point. Constrained problems can often be transformed into unconstrained problems with the help of Lagrange multipliers. Lagrangian relaxation can also provide approximate solutions to difficult constrained problems. When the objective function is convex, then any local minimum will also be a global minimum. There exist efficient numerical techniques for minimizing convex functions, such as interior point methods. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Computational optimization techniques. To solve problems, researchers may use algorithms that terminate in a finite number of steps, or iterative methods that converge to a solution on some specified class of problems, or heuristics that may provide approximate solutions to some problems, although their iterates need not converge. Topic: <laughs> Optimization algorithms. Simplex algorithm of George Dantzig, designed for linear programming. Extensions of the simplex algorithm, designed for quadratic programming and for linear fractional programming. Variants of the simplex algorithm that are especially suited for network optimization. Combinatorial algorithms Quantum optimization algorithms Optimization algorithm Machine learning Introduction An optimization algorithm is a procedure which is executed iteratively by comparing various solutions till an optimum or a satisfactory solution will be found. Optimization algorithms help us to minimize or maximize an objective function E x, which is simply a mathematical function dependent on the model's internal parameters which are used in computing the target values y from the set of predictors x used in the model. 
There are two types of optimization algorithms which are widely used such as zero-order algorithms, first-order optimization algorithms and second-order optimization algorithms. Zero-order algorithms zero-order or derivative-free algorithms use only the criterion value at some positions. It is popular when the gradient and Hessian information are difficult to obtain, e.g., no explicit function forms are given. First order optimization algorithms Thasy algorithms minimize or maximize a loss function E X using its gradient values with respect to the parameters. Most widely used first order optimization algorithm is gradient descent. The first order derivative displays whether the function is decreasing or increasing at a particular point. First order derivative basically will provide us a line which is tangential to a point on its error surface, example gradient descent. It is a first order optimization algorithm for finding the minimum of a function. Theta equals theta minus eta j theta. This is the formula of the parameter updates, where eta is the learning rate, j theta is the gradient of loss function j theta w r t parameters theta. It is the most popular optimization algorithms used in optimizing a neural network. Now gradient descent is majorly used to do weights updates in a neural network model, i.e. update and tune the model's parameters in a direction so that we can minimize the loss function. Now we all know a neural network trains via a famous technique called backpropagation, in which propagating forward calculating the dot product of input signals and their corresponding weights and then applying an activation function to those sum of products, which transforms the input signal to an output signal and also is important to model complex nonlinear functions and introduces nonlinearity to the model which enables the model to learn almost any arbitrary arbitrary functional mapping, second-order optimization algorithms Second-order methods use the second-order derivative which is also called Hessian to minimize or maximize the loss function. The Hessian is a matrix of second-order partial derivatives. Since the second derivative is costly to compute, the second order is not used much. The second order derivative informs us whether the first derivative is increasing or decreasing which hints at the function's curvature, it also provides us with a quadratic surface which touches the curvature of the error surface. Topic iterative methods The iterative methods used to solve problems of nonlinear programming differ according to whether they evaluate Hessians, gradients, or only function values. While evaluating Hessians H and gradients G improves the rate of convergence, for functions for which these quantities exist and vary sufficiently smoothly, such evaluations increase the computational complexity or computational cost of each iteration. In some cases, the computational complexity may be excessively high. One major criterion for optimizers is just the number of required function evaluations as this often is already a large computational effort, usually much more effort than within the optimizer itself, which mainly has to operate over the n variables. The derivatives provide detailed information for such optimizers, but are even harder to calculate, e.g. approximating the gradient takes at least n plus 1 function evaluations. For approximations of the second derivatives collected in the Hessian matrix, the number of function evaluations is in the order of n squared. Newton's method requires the second order derivates, so for each iteration the number of function calls is in the order of n squared, but for a simpler pure gradient optimizer it is only n. However, gradient optimizers need usually more iterations than Newton's algorithm. Which one is best with respect to the number of function calls depends on the problem itself. Methods that evaluate Hessians or approximate Hessians, using finite differences, Newton's method sequential quadratic programming, a Newton-based method for small-medium-scale constrained problems. 
Some versions can handle large dimensional problems. Interior point methods – This is a large class of methods for constrained optimization. Some interior point methods use only sub gradient information, and others of which require the evaluation of Hessians. Methods that evaluate gradients, or approximate gradients in some way or even subgradients, coordinate descent methods, algorithms which update a single coordinate in each iteration conjugate gradient methods, iterative methods for large problems, in theory, these methods terminate in a finite number of steps with quadratic objective functions, but this finite termination is not observed in practice on finite precision computers, gradient descent alternatively steepest descent or steepest ascent a slow method of historical and theoretical interest which has had renewed interest for finding approximate solutions of enormous problems subgradient methods an iterative method for large locally lipschitz functions using generalized gradients Following Boris T. Polyak, subgradient projection methods are similar to conjugate gradient methods Bundle method of descent, an iterative method for small medium sized problems with locally Lipschitz functions, particularly for convex minimization problems, similar to conjugate gradient methods, ellipsoid method, an iterative method for small problems with quasi convex objective functions and of great theoretical interest, particularly in establishing the polynomial time complexity of some combinatorial optimization problems. It has similarities with quasi-Newton methods. Conditional gradient method Frank Wolf for approximate minimization of specially structured problems with linear constraints, especially with traffic networks. For general unconstrained problems, this method reduces to the gradient method, which is regarded as obsolete for almost all problems. Quasi-Newton methods, iterative methods for medium-large problems, e.g. n. Simultaneous perturbation stochastic approximation (SPSA) method for stochastic optimization uses random, efficient gradient approximation. Methods that evaluate only function values. If a problem is continuously differentiable, then gradients can be approximated using finite differences, in which case a gradient based method can be used. Interpolation methods, pattern search methods, which have better convergence properties than the Nelda Mead heuristic with simplices, which is listed below. Topic: Global convergence. More generally, if the objective function is not a quadratic function, then many optimization methods use other methods to ensure that some subsequence of iterations converges to an optimal solution. The first and still popular method for ensuring convergence relies on line searches, which optimize a function along one dimension. A second and increasingly popular method for ensuring convergence uses trust regions. Both line searches and trust regions are used in modern methods of non-differentiable optimization. Usually a global optimizer is much slower than advanced local optimizers such as BFGS, so often an efficient global optimizer can be constructed by starting the local optimizer from different starting points. Topic. Heuristics Besides finitely terminating algorithms and convergent iterative methods, there are heuristics. A heuristic is any algorithm which is not guaranteed mathematically to find the solution, but which is nevertheless useful in certain practical situations. List of some well-known heuristics Topic. Applications Topic. Mechanics 
problems in rigid body dynamics in particular articulated rigid body dynamics often require mathematical programming techniques since you can view rigid body dynamics as attempting to solve an ordinary differential equation on a constraint manifold the constraints are various nonlinear geometric constraints such as these two points must always coincide this surface must not penetrate any other or this point must always lie somewhere on this curve. Also, the problem of computing contact forces can be done by solving a linear complementarity problem, which can also be viewed as a QP quadratic programming problem. Many design problems can also be expressed as optimization programs. This application is called design optimization. One subset is the engineering optimization, and another recent and growing subset of this field is multidisciplinary design optimization, which, while useful in many problems, has in particular been applied to aerospace engineering problems. This approach may be applied in cosmology and astrophysics. Economics and finance Economics is closely enough linked to optimization of agents that an influential definition relatedly describes economics quasi-science as the study of human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means. With alternative uses, modern optimization theory includes traditional optimization theory but also overlaps with game theory and the study of economic equilibria. The Journal of Economic Literature Codes classify mathematical programming, optimization techniques, and related topics under GEL, C61 C63. In microeconomics, the utility maximization problem and its dual problem, the expenditure minimization problem, are economic optimization problems. Insofar as they behave consistently, consumers are assumed to maximize their utility, while firms are usually assumed to maximize their profit. Also, agents are often modeled as being risk-averse, thereby preferring to avoid risk. Asset prices are also modeled using optimization theory, though the underlying mathematics relies on optimizing stochastic processes rather than on static optimization. International trade theory also uses optimization to explain trade patterns between nations. The optimization of portfolios is an example of multi-objective optimization in economics. Since the 1970s, economists have modeled dynamic decisions over time using control theory. For example, dynamic search models are used to study labor market behavior. A crucial distinction is between deterministic and stochastic models. Macroeconomists build dynamic stochastic general equilibrium DSGE models that describe the dynamics of the whole economy as the result of the interdependent optimizing decisions of workers, consumers, investors, and governments. Topic: <laughs> Electrical engineering. Some common applications of optimization techniques in electrical engineering include active filter design, stray field reduction in superconducting magnetic energy storage systems, space mapping design of microwave structures, handset antennas, electromagnetics based design. Electromagnetically validated design optimization of microwave components and antennas has made extensive use of an appropriate physics-based or empirical surrogate model and space mapping methodologies since the discovery of space mapping in 1993. <laughs> Civil engineering Optimization has been widely used in civil engineering. 
The most common civil engineering problems that are solved by optimization are cut and fill of roads, life cycle analysis of structures and infrastructures, resource leveling and schedule optimization. Topic: <laughs> Operations research. Another field that uses optimization techniques extensively is operations research. Operations research also uses stochastic modeling and simulation to support improved decision making. Increasingly, operations research uses stochastic programming to model dynamic decisions that adapt to events. Such problems can be solved with large scale optimization and stochastic optimization methods. Topic: Control engineering. Mathematical optimization is used in much modern controller design. High-level controllers such as model predictive control (MPC) or real-time optimization (RTO) employ mathematical optimization. These algorithms run online and repeatedly determine values for decision variables, such as choke openings in a process plant, by iteratively solving a mathematical optimization problem including constraints and a model of the system to be controlled. <laughs> <laughs> Geophysics Optimization techniques are regularly used in geophysical parameter estimation problems. Given a set of geophysical measurements, e.g. seismic recordings, it is common to solve for the physical properties and geometrical shapes of the underlying rocks and fluids. Molecular <inaudible> modeling <inaudible> 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 Nonlinear optimization methods are widely used in conformational analysis. Topic: Computational systems biology. Optimization techniques are used in many facets of computational systems biology such as model building, optimal experimental design, metabolic engineering, and synthetic biology. Linear programming has been applied to calculate the maximal possible yields of fermentation products, and to infer gene regulatory networks from multiple microarray datasets as well as transcriptional regulatory networks from high throughput data. Nonlinear programming has been used to analyze energy metabolism and has been applied to metabolic engineering and parameter estimation in biochemical pathways. Topic Solvers Topic See also Topic Notes Topic Further reading Topic Comprehensive Topic Undergraduate level Bradley, S. Hacks, A. Magnanti, T. nineteen seventy seven Applied Mathematical Programming. Addison Wesley. Parkinson, A., Balling, R., Hedengren, J. Optimization Methods for Engineering Design. Provo, Utah, Brigham Young University. Radan, Ronald L. Optimization in Operations Research. Prentice Hall. p. 919. ISBN 978-0023984150
Snyman, J. A., Wilker, D. N. 2018. Practical Mathematical Optimization, Basic Optimization Theory and Gradient-Based Algorithms. Springer Optimization and Its Applications Vol. 133, 2 ed. Springer International Publishing. pp. XXVI plus 372. ISBN 978-3319775852. Strang, Gilbert Introduction to Applied Mathematics. Wellesley, M. A., Wellesley Cambridge Press Strang's Publishing Company. pp. XII plus 758. ISBN 978-0961408800. Mr. 0870634. Topic Graduate level Magnan T., Thomas L. 1989. Twenty Years of Mathematical Programming. In Cornet, Bernard, Tulkins, Henry. Contributions to Operations Research and Economics, the 20th Anniversary of Core Papers from the Symposium held in Louvain-la-Neuve, January 1987. Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press. pp. 163-227. ISBN 978-0262031493. Mr. 1,104,662. Minu, M. Mathematical Programming, Theory and Algorithms. Egon Ballas Forward translated by Stephen Vider from the 1983 Paris, Dunno French ed. Chichester, a Wiley Interscience Publication. John Wiley & Sons, Ltd pp. XXVIII plus 489. ISBN 978-0471901709. Mr. 2571910, second ed., in French, Programmation Mathématique, Théorie et Algorithms. Editions Tech and Doc, Paris, 2008. XXX plus 711 pp. Nemhauser, G. L., Rinoy Kahn, A. H. G., Todd, M. J., Eds., 1989. Optimization. Handbooks in Operations Research and Management Science, 1. Amsterdam, North Holland Publishing Co. pp. XIV plus 709. ISBN 978-0444872845. Mr. 1,105,099, J. E. Dennis Jr. and Robert B. Schnabel, A View of Unconstrained Optimization, pp. 1-72, Donald Goldfarb and Michael J. Todd, Linear Programming, pp. 73-170, Philip E. Gill, Walter Murray, Michael A. Saunders, and Margaret H. Wright, Constrained Nonlinear Programming, pp. 171-210, Ravindra K. Ahuja, Thomas L. Magnanti, and James James B. Orlin, Network Flows, pp. 211-369, W. R. Pulleyblank, Polyhedral Combinatrix, pp. 371-446, George L. Nemhauser and Lawrence A. Woolsey, Integer Programming, pp. 447-527, Claude Lamareschal, Non-Differentiable Optimization, pp. 529-572, Roger J. B. Wetz, Stochastic Programming, pp. 573 to 629 AHG Rinoy Kan and GT Timmer Global Optimization PP 631 to 662 PL U Multiple Criteria Decision Making 5 Basic Concepts PP 663 to 699 Shapiro Jeremy F 1979 Mathematical Programming, Structures and Algorithms. New York, Wiley Interscience, John Wiley and Sons. pp. XVI plus 388. ISBN 978-0471778868.
Mr. 0544669. Spall, J. C. 2003, Introduction to Stochastic Search and Optimization, Estimation, Simulation, and Control, Wiley, Hoboken, N.J. University, Edwin K. P. Chong, Colorado State University, Stanislaw H. Zak, Purdue, 2013. An Introduction to Optimization, 4th ed. Hoboken, N. J., John Wiley and Sons. ISBN 978-1118279014. Topic. Continuous optimization Roger Fletcher 2000. Practical Methods of Optimization. Wiley. ISBN 978-0471494638. Mordecai Avril 2003. Nonlinear Programming, Analysis and Methods. Dover Publishing. ISBN 978-0486432274. P. E. Jill, W. Murray and M. H. Wright 1982. Practical Optimization. Emerald Publishing. ISBN 978-0470582466. Xin Shi Yang 2010. Engineering Optimization, An Introduction with Metaheuristic Applications. Wiley. ISBN 978-0470582466 Bonnens, J. Frederic, Gilbert, J. Charles, Lamarechal, Claude, Sagastizabal, Claudia A. 2006. Numerical Optimization, Theoretical and Practical Aspects. Universitext, Second Revised Ed. of Translation of 1997 French Ed. Berlin, Springer Verlag. pp. XIV plus 490. DOI 10.1007/978-3-540-35447-5. ISBN 978-3540-35451. Mr. 2,265,882. Bonnens, J. Frederic, Shapiro, Alexander. 2000. Perturbation Analysis of Optimization Problems. Springer Series in Operations Research. New York, Springer Verlag. pp. XVIII plus 601. ISBN 978-0387987057. Mr. 1756264. Boyd, Stephen P., Vandenberger, Levin. Convex Optimization, PDF. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0521833783. Retrieved October 15, 2011. Jorge Nacerdal and Stephen J. Wright 2006. Numerical Optimization. Springer. ISBN 978-0387303031. Ruschinski, Andre Nonlinear Optimization. Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press pp. XII plus 454. ISBN 978-0691119151. Mr. 2199043. Robert J. Vanderbay, 2013. Linear Programming, Foundations and Extensions, 4th edition. Springer. ISBN 978-1461476290. Topic combinatorial optimization R.K. Ahuja, Thomas L. Magnanti, and James B. Orlin 1993. Network Flows, Theory, Algorithms, and Applications. Prentice Hall, Inc. ISBN 0136175490X. 
William J. Cook, William H. Cunningham, William R. Pulleyblank, Alexander Shridjva, Combinatorial Optimization, John Wiley and Sons, One Edition, November 12, 1997, ISBN 0471558946. x Gondron, Mitchell, Minu, Mitchell, 1984. Graphs and Algorithms. Wiley Interscience Series in Discrete Mathematics, translated by Stephen Vider from the second Collection de la Direction des Etudes et Recherches d'Electricité de France, Collection of the Department of Studies and Research of Electricité de France, v. 37. Paris, Editions Eroles 1985. XXVIII plus 545 pp. MR868083 French ed. Chichester, John Wiley and Sons, Ltd. pp. XIX plus 650. ISBN 978-2743010355. Mr. 2552933. 4th ed. Collection EDF R&D, Paris, Editions Tech and Doc 2009. XXXII plus 784 pp. Eugene Lawler 2001. Combinatorial Optimization, Networks and Matroids. Dover. ISBN 0486414531. Lawler, E. L., Lenstra, J. K., Rinoy Kan, A. H. G., Schmoyes, D. B. 1985, the Traveling Salesman Problem, A Guided Tour of Combinatorial Optimization, John Wiley & Sons, ISBN 978-0471904137, John Lee, A First Course in Combinatorial Optimization, Cambridge University Press, 2004, ISBN 0521010128. Christos H. Papadimitriou and Kenneth Steiglitz Combinatorial Optimization, Algorithms and Complexity, Dover Pub ENS, Paperback, Unabridged Edition, July 1998. ISBN 0486402584 Relaxation extension method. Methods to obtain suitable in some sense, natural extensions of optimization problems that otherwise lack of existence or stability of solutions to obtain problems with guaranteed existence of solutions and their stability in some sense typically under various perturbation of data are in general called relaxation. Solutions of such extended equals relaxed problems in some sense characterizes at least certain features of the original problems, e.g. as far as their optimizing sequences concerns. Relaxed problems may also possess as their own natural linear structure that may yield specific optimality conditions different from optimality conditions for the original problems. H. O. Fatterini, Infinite Dimensional Optimization and Control Theory. Cambridge Univ. Press, 1999. P. Pedregal, Parametrized Measures and Variational Principles. Berkhauser, Basel, 1997. T. Rubacek, Relaxation in Optimization Theory and Variational Calculus. W. de Gruyter, Berlin, 1997. ISBN 3110145421. J. Warger, Optimal Control of Differential and Functional Equations. Academic Press, 1972. Journals <laughs> <laughs> Computational Optimization and Applications Journal of Computational Optimization in Economics and Finance Journal of Economic Dynamics and Control SIAM Journal on Optimization and Editorial Policy SIAM Journal on Control and Optimization and Editorial Policy 
Topic: External links. CoinOR – Computational Infrastructure for Operations Research Decision Tree for Optimization Software Links to Optimization Source Codes Global Optimization Mathematical Programming Glossary Mathematical Programming Society NEO's Guide currently being replaced by the NEO's Wiki Optimization Online A repository for optimization eprints Optimization related links Convex Optimization IE 364A – course from Stanford University Convex Optimization – Boyd and Vandenberger book on convex optimization Book and course on optimization methods for engineering design Mathematical Optimization in Operations Research from the Institute for Operations Research and the Management Sciences informs.